While I was visiting my family recently, I decided to dust off the old sewing box and make an outfit for my little nephew Colby, who has many roles and is growing like you wouldn't believe. So I thought I would take you all along with me while I sew, bake, babysit and everything in between. My sister collects beautiful thrifted fabrics and old bed sheets to use with her vintage patterns, so I was very lucky to be spoilt with choice when it came to picking out the perfect fabric for Colby's outfit. I chose a plaid in pale blue and headed upstairs to set up everything. And Colby watched me the entire time for quality control. I sorted through April's vast array of patterns before settling on a 1950s, 1960s overall pattern by Butterick. This beautiful wooden sewing box was our grandma's and folds out to store all your little knickknacks and sewing goodies. Now the plan for the overalls was to make them in a size 1, like the pattern, so they can fit Colby when he's older. He's four months at the moment and growing out of clothes he only wore a week ago. Colby is so full of smiles and gives you the biggest grin showing off his cute dimples when you smile at him. My sister makes a lot of clothes using vintage patterns and as she's made these overalls many times before, she helped me out a lot and made the whole sewing process much quicker. And my family's Jack Russell Bimby couldn't help but be a part of the whole process. I thought sewing normally took a long time, but adding in a dog that sits on your work and a little baby that needs a lot of attention, and boy, it takes much, much longer. So with the pants mostly done, I added the bib and facing and sewed it all together. And Bimbi made sure she was getting the attention she deserved with a much needed tummy scratch. The next morning, April and I decided to make a delicious spice crumble cake, which is one of my sister's favourite recipes, and can be made with either fresh figs or pears.
While the cake was baking, I had some time to take out my cowls and brush them. The cake was finally ready, and as soon as I opened the oven, the warming scent of cinnamon and pears filled the house. The crumble was perfectly browned and crunchy, and we were so excited to finally dig in. How's it taste? Really good. Delicious. Good job. <laughs> The next day, April came into my room with Colby early in the morning, and I got to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with the little munchkin. We then got straight into finishing off his overalls, and I ironed while April did the buttonholes. And you can hear in the background, Colby started to grizzle as he was getting really tired. All that was left to finish the overalls was some hand sewing on the inside and picking out some cute buttons to match the fabric. During the whole sewing process, Bimbi was never too far away and always managed to get a good head scratch and lots of attention. And at last, the overalls were done. <laughs> In the belly button. <laughs> Mom, you embarrassment. <laughs>